Now that's a pretty big claim, isn't it? The best production Sloyd knife. Is that a clickbait or not? Well, hello and welcome to another episode in my spoon carving kit video series. This is Max from Woodsman's Finest. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So today we're having a look at this interesting blade here, the Mora 105. And right off the bat, there is a couple of things you're probably noticing about it. So let's go a little bit deeper and I'm gonna show you a bunch of knife grips with this blade today and let's see why it's my pick for the best production Sloyd knife. So let's get rid of one question right off the bat. These knives come sharp out of the box. Made from carbon steel, laminated with stainless, made in Sweden by Morknif. I'm not expecting anything less from these guys. They're professionals and this knife does not disappoint. So as we're watching this knife going through some cherry end grain necks just to um, you know, prove the edge holding capabilities, the edge retention, I just want to start talking about the topic that comes to mind first and foremost which is the comparison to the Mora 106, which is arguably the most popular, um, you know, advanced to pro Sloyd knife for spoon carving agreement carving out there. We're talking about knives that can be upgraded to customs, but at the same time, I would say you can do your entire carving career with a Mora laminated carving blade and you will never um, ask for anything more. Despite, of course, the fact that there are your Nick Westermans, your Reed Schwartz's out there, which have their absolute advantages. So here, a Mora 106 that I handled in some leather um, and antler, and you can see that the blade length, the blade shape is absolutely the same, but we definitely have a difference in handle length. So the blades are just over three inches long, about eight centimeters, but the handles come in at over 12 centimeters, um, five, um, and three like four and three quarter inches that is I'm sorry and we have these very distinct flares um, coke bottle shapes whatever you want to call it that are symmetric and as some people call them ugly or think that they're getting in the way I have to say if I compare this knife directly to Mora 106 it's just amazing what this handle can actually do and how well thought through it is here we just went right away with some hammer grips. You can see the, these flares um, or the guard, whatever you want to call it, is not getting in the way at all, which a lot of people are arguing usually. More, it's giving you these beautiful angles that fit your thumb, protect um, your thumb as well, especially on those peeling grips. And it gives such a great indexing for your fingers. In this case here, I'm wrapping my middle finger around the groove of the flare. In this case here, I'm pressing my thumb against the flare. And since everything is so rounded, there's no hotspots. It's just, I would call it just an index. I'm indexing with different fingers here. It's the pinky one on the butt end that just um, gives more security. It gives more purchase. I don't feel the butt end of this knife at all um, against my rib cage, which is very often the case with other knife handles. And you can see that this is half cured cherry, cured cherry, and this knife is just rifling through it. Of course, we've got a little bit of a thicker stock with these new Moras. They're over two millimeters thick. That makes the bevels quite long, um, very easy to index while sharpening and the edge holding cap capabilities as you saw before are just great. So here some chest lever grips using that um, guard section here as an index and next up a very similar grip where I'm pushing with my other hand which is more like a it's a push push cut in a way not too much pivoting here it's a push as well we're gonna see some pivot cuts later um, but you can definitely see how I'm choking up on the blade using the guard section and the flare the entire time. Here I'm definitely using it as a guard where this flare is hitting the middle knuckle of my thumb or the, you know the first crease of my thumb before it actually hits the palm of my thumb. This is definitely also a major advantage for people who start carving kids for courses etc etc. 
especially because you have so many different hand sizes. Um, this knife is just fitting everyone well. With this very long hand grip as well compared to the Mora 106, I get a lot more leverage out of it, especially on these pivot cuts that you see here where I'm pivoting over my thumb of the other hand while pushing. It's kind of a hybrid a little bit. Let's talk about a very big advantage over the Mora 106 here too. This knife doesn't have a metal ferrule, which means that I can carve the handle into shape any way I want to. If any part of this handle is uncomfortable, gets in the way, or I just want to give it my own design or style, I can just carve away um, or modify those um, butt section and the um, guard section of the knife very easily. So if you want to see a video actually about how to do that, please just let me know in the comment section. I would really like to do one of those videos. Um, so yeah, let me know if there is interest for that. While I'm showing you a couple of last um, grips on this knife, I just want to say thank you to a Handelskontor um, Gebrüder Charks in Germany who sent that knife to me. Um, I'm gonna put their link down in the description box. And other than that, please, if you're somewhere from somewhere else, just check out my Amazon link for this knife. Um, like and subscribe the videos, please, as well. Um, it's just helping me a lot. And consider becoming a Patreon just to keep these videos running and coming as often as possible. So now the answer to the question why I think this is the best production Sloyd knife is quite simple. This knife is far more than the sum of its parts. The handle is well thought out, it's from beautiful birch, it's oiled, its blade is laminated, made in Sweden, it holds its edge very long, is easily sharpened. There's nothing not to like about this knife. If I only had this one for the rest of my spoon carving days, I'd be a happy man. What makes it the greatest though for me, as far as production Sloyd knives go, is the price, value and availability. I want people to carve and this knife makes it possible for anybody and that at this amazing quality. So I hope folks that you liked this video, thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you very soon. Cheers.